Maribyrnong Sports Academy was the venue for AFL Victoria's Vic Metro Academy Induction Day for 2015. The Academy squad, proudly supported by Dairy Australia, gathered together to learn more about the demands of the Academy program, plus would provide an opportunity to introduce themselves to the AFL recruiting network. The day also helped educate and inform parents about what is required from their sons in the Academy. AFL Vic TV spoke with Anton Grabak more about the day. Vic Metro Induction Day is basically just to feel like the official start to our uh, under 18 Academy program. What we try and do is identify a nucleus number of players that I believe uh, have the capacities and the potential to play nationals this year, and obviously with draftable qualities. And we try and get a head start in terms of getting them uh, prepared for a whole, in a whole lot of spaces. Yeah, every year we try and get an AFL representative uh, to come along to the players, and not only to the players but also to the parents explain to them what AFL clubs are looking for and generally the, the message is the same so it's a universal message that I think the players need to hear. I know some of the players have heard it before, parents, many of the parents haven't heard that sort of side of it before. It's part of that policy of trying to keep the parents informed as to what sort of things and what sort of requirements clubs are after. It always goes down well, it's a popular part of the session. The parents spoke to me after the session and really enjoyed that part of it because it really opened up their eyes to what clubs want to do. I just really run through, I guess, the main attributes that we look for when we go out and watch the boys, which uh, is a range of things these days, uh, starting obviously with footy ability and then physical attributes and most importantly, character as well. Yeah, we're very, very excited to have appointed Steve Wallace, the ex-Western Bulldogs great, uh, who also is the father of Mitch Wallace, who was the captain of the Metro program not too long ago. Uh, Steve Wallace is going to take over from Brian Royal as our senior uh, assistant to assist Floody and will also look after the midfield. So that's an exciting get for us. And also we've uh, included a gentleman by the name of Jordan During, who some people in the TAC Cup environment might remember as playing for Benigo Pioneers. was actually a country representative uh, in the period of time he was there, but also had stints at Essendon and Carlton. So we're pretty excited. He's a young, Jordan in his case, is a young coach who's willing to learn and bringing that enthusiasm into the group would be terrific and of course an old head like Steve Wallace is going to be fantastic for his job. We'd like our program to stay as contemporary as possible. I mean players relate to the modern day player and what, what experiences they've had and players that we've introduced this year, Carl Peterson from Hawthorne as well as Jesse Smith from North Melbourne, are players that haven't actually had it or go all their way in terms of their careers. They've had a taste of AFL football, they've had setbacks, they understand the rigours and the demands of the business, but they've also got a story to tell which our players can learn from. Uh, all squads are different. The makeup of squads change depending on the draft or personnel that's available year in, year out. And we, undeniably, we had a very good uh, group of 18-year-olds last year that served an opportunity. Of the 36 18 year old players that qualified for the draft last year, 30 of them went to AFL club. So you can see the opportunities for 17 year olds weren't there, but the nature of the business is you try and give an 18 year old the first opportunity to play nationals because it's a very important stage in terms of competing for the national draft and the players that are out there. This year, again, you depend, depend depending on the critical mass of talent. Uh, we believe we're going to include a lot more 17 year olds in the initial program. As you know, we've included six 17 year olds in the initial part of the program. I believe that many of those will play this year, but we're also looking at uh, some 19 year olds. The rule has changed this year with the AFL Nationals allowing us to play three 19 year olds each game. And I think we've got a group of 19 year olds this year in the TAC Cup that deserve that opportunity and will be, I guess, of interest to AFL clubs. Obviously with me and James having the experience last year, we've sort of got a bit of a head start on the other boys who have come into the, um, to the system this year and into the group. Um, so yeah, it's just good for me and James to sort of get, get around to the boys and teach them what we learnt last year. Um, we've also got to take what we learnt last year and sort of continue to develop and grow as players ourselves, but there's definitely a good advantage to sort of um, see how the program runs and um, know how things work and um, so yeah that's a big advantage that I'm looking forward to utilise going into um, as a uh, program progresses. We've got six uh, bottom age boys here I think and um, yeah I remember sort of sitting in their position last year as a really quiet sort of reserved um, young boy so yeah I can sort of experience, um, I sort of know what they're experiencing at the minute so if um, I can help them out I, I, yeah I will for sure. We just um 
got into a partnership with Dynamic, who are a catering company who um, concentrate on healthy food choices for our players. And we actually had Jason Johnson, the ex Essendon player, who was one of the directors of the company and two of their dietitians speak to the players about proper eating. And that went down really, really well. We're pretty excited about that uh, relationship moving forward. And Winners Bars are also on board. They've been a fantastic supporter of ours and very generous partners. So we're pretty excited about the sort of partnerships we've created with two very uh, prominent and relevant uh, partners.